Alright, hey there, we've 360 viewers. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install any AI or not enough items for Minecraft 1.3.2. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments and requests asking how to install this on my 1.2.5 install. And it's very similar, except for you no longer put it in the jar, which I will show you. So, anyways, let's get started. Uh, first, you're going to go to the links that I have provided in the description. And the first one will take you to Minecraft Forge. You're just going to go to this page right here and hit download direct and hit universal. Then you'll just download it and save it to your desktop or wherever you want. Then that second link will take you to Code Chicken Bones page, whatever. You want to scroll down until you see Code Chicken Core, click show and right click on it and click or click on it and just click download. Then it'll take you to add fly, you just hit skip, and there you go. And I'll start downloading it. Same thing with not enough items, you just want to go here, hit show, uh, install instructions hit download like this and then just where it says please wait uh, just wait the required number of seconds and just hit skip add and you should be able to download it okay so after you've downloaded everything just go to where you've downloaded it all mine is right here so first off you're gonna go to percent app data percent uh, I spelled it wrong my bad data percent there we go hit dot minecraft and see all this stuff in here to make sure we have a fresh install and we do everything properly we're going to want to just hit control a control a click on it make sure you click hit control a then control d and this will delete everything in there so if you have anything you want to save just drag out the saves uh, that's pretty much it so then i uh, just hit yes then launch Minecraft again, and you're gonna have to re enter your credentials unless you also save those. And it should log you in. Uh, my internet's a little slow, guys, so I'll just be right back when it is done. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.3.2, and all the files should be in the dot minecraft folder now so this is a fresh install and there should be zero errors if you follow everything correctly so you just want to open your bin folder then you go to the minecraft thing right here it's a dot jar file you want to right click on it and hit open with winrar or 7-zip or whatever archiver you're using then first thing first you're going to want to uh, click on this meta dash inf and click right click on it and click delete hit yes okay so now that's gone now you open Minecraft Forge Universal and take it. Oop, that's right. Okay, <laughs> and take Control A and just drag everything over. And it should be doing this. Then you get this. Hit OK. You can then exit out of Minecraft Forge and the Minecraft.jar, but leave these both of these folders open. And now you just want to open up Minecraft. Type in your password because I forgot to hit Remember Me. Login, <laughs> and this is something new for uh, Forge Mod Loader. They have to set it up and do this weird stuff. So just let it do its thing. Okay, and now you should say Minecraft Forge two mods loaded, two mods active, whatever. One point three point two. Then hit quit because you no longer need that up. Then you go to dot, you go back to the dot Minecraft folder in your folder over here. Then you go to core mods, not mods, but core mods. And then you take uh, Code Chicken Core and hit hold control and get not enough items. Then copy them and paste them over here. Then once again, you launch Minecraft. And you'll get the Mojang thing. And it'll say four mods loaded. You can click on them and see which ones. But then you can just go to single player, create new world. And here we go. Now we hit E, and boom. Now we have the not enough items thing, and I don't have any other mods installed, so it will just be the basic vanilla items. Uh, you have all your daytime functions and everything else, but if you're going to want uh, red power plugins or wireless redstone, those you have to download separately and install. They're very simple though. If you want a tutorial on that, comment and let me know, and I will upload one as soon as you guys know. So, th guys, thanks for watching. I'm trying to make these videos the best as I can. I'm trying to answer all the demands 
for the videos I have because I just have no ideas for videos and every comment that you guys ask me to post like a video I do it like this video is actually coming from a user on my YouTube channel that commented asking for this because I just don't know what else to upload alright but anyways uh, thanks for watching guys uh, I really appreciate it uh, don't forget to comment rate and subscribe